Transporting items over longer distances with transfer funnels can get very expensive. Another cheaper option is water streams. First place down a row of ice. Then place a block here and blocks around it like this. Extend the two walls down to the end. Extend the walls one block past the ice and place a transfer funnel there. This transfer funnel should face into a transfer funnel line going into your storage system or wherever you want to transport the items. Now place a skylight right there. You will see the reason for that later. Come up to this end and place a water bucket there. Go to where the flow of the water stops and place a transducer right here. Continue that process until you get to the other end. Since that last water bucket will almost never turn out right, the skylight keeps the water from flowing over the transfer funnel while still allowing the items to pass through. Now extend the ceiling all the way down to the end. You can go ahead and place another block here to block off this end. The next step is to build the input. Place a block here, remove this block and place a launching device right there facing the water stream. Now break that block. Put two solid blocks here and a Celestium generator on top. Place a Celestium comparator here, tap it once and break this bottom block. Place a Celestium enhancer facing into that block, then place two cable here and one here. Place two more cable here and one more here. Place a block right there in the middle. Take a transfer funnel and face it into the launching device. This is the input. Take a wrench and tap on the launching device with it. It should turn red. I'm going to put a storage box on top of this transfer funnel, but you could simply have a transfer funnel line running into it from somewhere. Place one glass block here. Now come over to this side and place two solid blocks going all the way around, just like this. Come to the back and place six solid blocks under here. Place two more up here, one there, and two right there. Now I will put one stack of items into the input. Now that they are all funneled through, I will go to the other end. As you can see, the whole stack ended up in this output. 